Oh, good morning. It's uh, the end of March here in Richlands, Ohio, at the Ohio farm. We had $100,000 when we went to bed, but I guess our property maintenance uh, made us uh, <laughs> dip below 100000 But I'm in a place where I'm fairly financially comfortable. Oh, man. That means things aren't going to go well for us today. Yeah, let's try to redeem ourselves here. That's not good. I don't know why. Alright. It won't be all bad, I guess. So yesterday we did some fertilizing. In, in mid-March we did some fertilizing for uh, Roger. And then off-camera... At the end, we bought more fertilizer and we went over and fertilized for Bill. Uh, fertilizing pays really well. That's how we got our money up. Let me throw the screen for Bill's up real quick. So even though fertilizer costs money, uh, the contracts can be really lucrative. It's a good way to make, make money. So we got one tomato pallet here. I think we had that toward the end of the day. We were just deferred to move it over until today. We got a honey pallet as well. So let's get the uh, tailgate open on the patchy. You know, we should, we should wash this quick. Otherwise the paint's gonna wear a little worse. That way we'll preserve the paint on it. It won't get as worn as bad. I don't mind things being a little dirty, but we want to try and keep this one looking good. We bought it used, right? So and we didn't repaint it. I mean, the bed looks used, but the, the paint on it looks pretty good, really. Grab the honey palette first. Interest to see what spawns. Three boxes.
Hmm. That was interesting. There we go. Probably do a little first person. We'll go back to third here. So we slept in till seven because I didn't think I'd have too much necessarily to do. I haven't looked at contracts. I don't know exactly, but. Uh, in April, our fields are all prepped, and it's not until April that we need to start um, planting the corn and the soybeans, so we're in sort of a pause at the moment, I guess. So today it's going to be kind of daily routine. We'll check see if there's any contracts that we can do. Maybe we can look at expansion, greenhouses, uh, where we're going to build the new farm shop, and so on. We're going to come. Whoa, stick. Okay. We're going to come from the side that way. I don't want to have to adjust the pallet. Once I get down and load it into the back of a fleet side. Don't like to necessarily carry pallets this direction, but it'll be alright. I assure you, it's okay. earlier but maybe it rained overnight I didn't even I'll check the rain gauge didn't even notice I tell you, that skid steer comes in handy. I can't believe somebody thought I should get rid of it way back towards the beginning of the series. I knew it'd come in handy. All right. So we got 500 liters of tomatoes and 400 liters of honey. Take that over to our little farm shop. slow to sell. <laughs> yes, while well, that's doing that I can come over here open up the door.
So it's putting, thinking, thinking about putting in a, like a, like a, one of those long foil tunnels type greenhouse in here. But this ground is not level. It rises up on this end. Here, this is a high point. So, while it would run down this side, it just wouldn't go in good without doing some weird deformation on the terrain over here. So, I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see, I got eggs ready. I'm surprised there's no bread. Sorry, this is super annoying. I'm having some difficulty. I lost a bunch of recording. Um, as you can see, it's it's a bit later in the day uh, because we did a whole bunch of stuff. And for whatever reason, my game froze up earlier when I came over and was checking the uh, bakery here. Um, I thought I had it resolved and I thought I started recording again we took the eggs over we took the butter over we took the maple syrup all over to the farm shop we um, what else did we do we took the pickup we went to the mill we loaded up a couple of pallets of flour which we brought back here to the bakery oh we fed the cows we gave the cows bedding and then I also uh, visited the store checked the used equipment bought the herdsman stick and I moved the I think it was six cows that were at 90% reproduction over here into the pasture. So, a lot of things happened. <laughs> you missed out on it. And I'm sorry. I don't even know if this is going to record properly. It's I'm not sure what's going on. Wow, yeah. Yeah, we used the uh, Vermeer bale shredder. We shredded our last straw bale that was over here, put it in with bedding. Uh, it took it all, the whole bale. I think we've only got like six straw bales left down, down there near the kind of the maple trees. And then we uh, we mixed up a mixture wagon of total mix ration and fed it to the cows. They took about half of it, a little less than half. So we're running low on straw bales in here as well. I think we'll be all right, but we'll see. So yeah, money's gone up a little because we had the pallet of eggs, the pallet of butter, and the pallet of uh, maple syrup. And yeah, that's where we are. I, uh, I almost got half a mind to go ahead and uh, go on into April.
to try and have some action in this episode because nothing else. I mean, I can go sell that butter pallet, but yeah, okay, that's exciting. And what? We're about 10 minutes into the episode, and. <laughs> oh, yeah. That wasn't good. Sorry about that. I'm not happy about it either. I saved the game. I should have checked it. I did check the first portion. I didn't check the latter ones to make sure they were working properly. It's super frustrating. Nothing really I can do to get it back. I can't recreate it because we've already saved the game, so. I don't know. I think I'll see you in April. I think that's what this day's over. <laughs> Go and think about it. I'll probably see you over at the other house later. Okay, well, this time I got up early. It's uh, it's 1 April now. We need to be very careful about making this basket so we don't have a repeat of what happened at the end of March. So what happened was I went into a menu. Whew, thank goodness. I went into a menu when I was over by the... Uh, bakery over at the west place and it froze up and i saved the video clip and then every video clip i started after that it claimed that um i was not actually recording so i just clicked uh, save all recent gameplay and both times that I did that oh wow I've got a tomato palette and a honey palette again this morning um, and every time I did that it just saved the same gameplay that I had already done two times <laughs> so that's what that's what messed us up yesterday so we're going to have more progress, at least in time, in this episode than we normally do, because we're going to be going a lot longer. This is going to be a little difficult, though, because we're already, what, probably 15 minutes in when we're starting. So we're going to have to kind of be on it probably a little bit more editing jump cuts and otherwise in this one uh, you already saw me do this at the beginning of the episode so too bad you're gonna have to sit through it again because this is what needs to get done do it quickly though. Well, <laughs> didn't mean to tap it. It's alright. We can come back from that. Come in on a little bit of an angle here. It's gonna be fine. Everything's going to be fine. What I need to do is not start rushing now because if I rush, I'm going to get rammy and start making mistakes and it won't be good. Get those 
tomatoes. So it's the beginning of April, so we can start planting corn and we can also grill or plant the soybeans as well. So we'll probably get some help from some workers or a worker so that we can get a little bit more progress. Deer in my canola field. At least they're not in the garden. Let's see, I'll tell you what, let me time lapse this. Um, <laughs> morning chore stuff. We can get to the, get to the farming. So let me get some of this stuff out of the way. What is going on? What's going on over here? I didn't even leave out of the game and these vehicles are sliding around on me. I don't know what it is, but this equipment keeps getting all jumbled up. And I didn't even leave out of the game after the last time I had straightened it all out. So, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and start that time lapse. Otherwise, we're not going to get anywhere. Okay, we're back at the farm after having completed the morning chores. Um, yeah. I think probably we're going to reach a point where we just need to do that, all that stuff off camera because it's 
time consuming. Okay, so we're going to start planting corn and soybeans. We'll get the Kubota out of the way here. So yesterday I did some maintenance on the uh, John Deere 4755 and I also took the duals off. This is what we're going to use for planting corn. Looks kind of weird without the duels on it. <laughs> so used to seeing them. But don't need them on there. I'm trying to figure out how to open the cover. There we go. I don't know if I have enough seed. enough I hope so should be all right there we go I'm trying to get the auger to uh, there we go Okay, so, oh man, how am I gonna? <laughs> I run out of. I don't. There we go. That's what closes it. All right. Not quite sure how I'm going to run back over here because I need to come over and get the JCB and the uh, and the seed drill to do the soybeans. And I already took the Mahindra over there. So 
So we're going to put the field behind the house over here in corn and also the one down at the uh, south end here. We'll get this one first, then we'll go get the seed drill and start on the uh, soybean field. I'm gonna have to do kind of the uh, we call it do some headlands really. For lack of a better <laughs> description of what we're gonna do here. Um, let's see. Do I have to unfold? I don't think so. Turn on. Yeah. Crop it down. Head south, mostly. This is working all right. <laughs> it's been a while since I used this uh, in a year, right? Problem's going to be the south edge along the tree line where the worker's going to have to try and turn around. Always a problem. going through the seed pretty quick too. I'll do this side too because I know that the guy's going to have trouble going right by the trees so hopefully this will take care of that.
Man, it's gonna... I'm gonna be having to stay on top of the seat. What's that? Oh, fertilizer. I'm gonna have to stay on top of the seed for this uh, thing. <laughs> oh, man. Not gonna be as easy as I thought. I think this is going to be pretty challenging to try and juggle all this, but we'll do the best we can. We're going to need to get some more soybean seed, too. And then we got to keep an eye on what's going on with her over there. Because she's going to run out of seed at some point. <laughs> okay, we're set on soybeans. So we're ready to go. Yep, she's out. Okay. her very long to run out. We gotta be careful. Oh, she's not gonna start because she she's not in there waiting, is she? Nope. And then we 
her started again and then try and get out of her way. Now she goes into the field but she won't do crop destruction so I'd prefer that she didn't do that but not, I don't have much choice. Alright, I need you to uh, do a quick suspension of disbelief here because I'm going to use... this seed to top up... the... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get there, am I? I'm going to have to... Hold that up. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see. Let close that. Open that up again. And now we should be ready to go here. And we are fertilizing and putting in soybeans. Let's pull up the mini map there. So if I get a worker going over here, I need to go buy more seed, though. I'd make more with my auger, but I don't have any crop over at the, where the auger is. I'd have to bring it over here, so I think in the interest of trying to keep things moving quickly, I probably won't make seed. Probably just try and uh, see if I can buy a couple of bags. Oh, we missed a spot, didn't we? What's going on there? Is that like not cultivated? Oh, this is a direct drill, it'll be all right. Okay. Are there stones there? Yep. Wouldn't you know? Starting. Well, we just ended a time lapse, didn't we? <laughs> Too soon to start another one. I want to get a couple of headlands around here. How's the seed doing? It's doing all right, actually. It's actually doing real well. Mostly concerned about how quickly the corn is going to keep going down. Over in the other field where she's working. We'll try and get two headlands around on this field as well, and then maybe we can start a worker on it. I think 
we should be able to fill her up maybe one more time before we have to go get some seed. Doing all right. I think I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. both coming from the outside towards the middle. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Can't even see. <laughs> oh, there she is. She was turning around out the south end. It's like right between those two trees in the distance, if you can see. again. Yeah, it's a bit challenging trying to keep up here. try and do oh man feeding places out of bales too I'm gonna put two headlands down here at the bottom and then I'm gonna start a worker going north south from the other edge I think that'll work okay. And then I'm probably going to need to go get some seed. To keep her going. I think this one will be alright. But, but. I 
think the cornfield is going to be an issue. Alright, well, it should be fine. This has got us running. I'm hoping to get all the corn planted today, though. Might have to do some of it off camera because of the way the episode started at the end of March. I'm going to go ahead and hire a worker here. I'm going to hop out. I think everything will be alright over here. Alright, so <laughs> where, where is she at? There she is. Let me go get the tender. Get her squared away. probably have to do a time lapse to go get some more seed. some fertilizer while I'm there, even though it's cheaper at the co-op. That's all we've got. to go the back way or go up to the highway. I'll go this way. I'll probably come back the highway.
day after that brief interlude we're arriving back at the field to get her filled up with uh, seed again to keep planting the corn. I think we might have enough now. I hope so. Um, I don't know why I can't seem to open the cover. Maybe it's, it's got another step in the open cover because it, for the fertilizer, which we don't actually have. Okay. Did you miss any? Nope. All right, good. So we can let her work. And how's this guy doing? And this guy can work. I've got no idea how I'm doing on time for the episode. <laughs> I really don't. There probably can't be more than just a couple minutes left uh, in the amount of time that we have to record this. And I think all we're really going to be doing is be doing more of the same uh, planning. Let me hop in with this guy here for a second. Ride along while we finish up here. Nice view of working in both the fields although <laughs> everything's kind of far apart you can barely make out the John Deere I think on the other side of the tender trailer yeah we're getting uh, we're getting our crops in the ground so we're gonna have corn in that field over there soybeans in this field and then I'll put the corn in the field up behind the house over there at the West Place, and then I'll do that'll be off camera, and then uh, yeah, I think uh, we'll come back in mid-April and we'll get these rolled and fertilized and get all that taken care of. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, and if you don't subscribe yet, why not? Don't cost nothing. We'll see you next time.